Hi. Recently, we saw a patient of ours we operated upon five years ago who had avascular necrosis of his hip joint. He came to show us and I'd like to share his result with you. He was 43 years old when he came and had hip pain since five months. His Harris hip score was less than 45. He had a large defect in the femur and as you can see on the done or a lateral view, there was a defect which was going out of the cartilage. We chose to perform a microvascular fibular graft. This was done approximately in the year 2017. And Professor Jim Urbanak's method was used. An ipsilateral fibula was harvested with the peroneal artery and veins. And in the lateral position, a semicircular incision was taken. And firstly, we did a core decompression and excised the dead bone, used a dye to ensure that we had all of the dead bone out then we inserted the fibula gently the peroneal vessels which were left jutting out with enough space due to the over reamed you know you know track were anastomosed to the ascending branch of the lateral circumflex artery in a lateral position the fibula is temporarily fixed with a k wire and he just came to show us after five years he had no pain his full range of motion and the Harris hip score is excellent. And this is his uh, function. If you can squat, you can sit cross legged. It's almost like a forgotten hip. Yes. So, And these were x-rays taken last week of his hip. The sphericity of the femoral head is maintained. He has nearly full range of motion and doesn't remember having any trouble. He was kind enough to show us how he can bicycle as well. Without any discomfort, he can obviously mount and dismount from the bicycle as well. Uh, thank you for your attention. I must say we are very happy with these, you know, microvascular fibrillae that we have performed. And a lot of young folks do deserve this surgery rather than necessarily opting for a total hip replacement.